cool out there. Six months away, sure. that might be okay. <laughs> You know what? It's going to be real cold here in the next couple of mornings, so you're going to need to find that uh, heavier jacket again, right? Yeah. Seems like November's been all over the place. You won't need the rain jacket this week, though, because we do have dry conditions in our forecast. We do have, though, frost and freeze concerns as we move into Wednesday and Thursday morning in particular. We've got another front coming in tomorrow. Look at that beautiful day out there. North Carolina A&T University, blue skies. Oh, get used to that. We've got a lot of sunshine in the forecast this week. A dry week ahead. We deserve it right after all of that rain last week. It is going to be a little on the cold side, especially Wednesday and Thursday morning, but it should warm up for the weekend. Our temperatures right now are already in the 30s and 40s. 37 in North Wilkesboro and Mount Airy. You've got 46 right now in Burlington. These temperatures are about 15 to 20 degrees cooler than we were this time yesterday. You know, we had highs in the 70s yesterday, 60s today. 50s tomorrow. The next front that's coming in is actually way up here over the Great Lakes, but it is moving quickly and we'll be through here by lunchtime tomorrow. You notice that the folks to the east, these are all river flood warnings that are still up. So our waters have receded in eastern North Carolina. The water's still going down. We've got dry skies Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. And it looks like it may even stay dry into the weekend. Of course, dry skies, perfect opportunity to check out the Leonid Meteor Shower, which is on display this week. It peaks midnight to dawn early tomorrow morning, 10 to 15 meteors per hour. It is going to be cool, though. Temps will be in the mid to upper 30s tomorrow morning and a little bit cooler in the mountains. There's our next front. Look, there's snow with it. Ooh, I don't want any part of that. There is cold air behind it. Temperatures in the teens and 20s. The heart of the cold air won't arrive here, but we will see a significant drop in temperatures, which means our highs tomorrow afternoon are only going to be in the mid 50s and it is going to be windy. A northwest wind tomorrow at about 10 to 20 miles an hour, so it may make it feel like it's in the 40s for a large part of the day. For the mountains, we've got sunshine as well. It's a windy day. We'll look for wind gusts maybe to 30, 35 miles an hour, but not as strong as they were over the last 24 hours. But look at these numbers. We're topping out about 44 degrees by about midday and then of course the temps going down. Our coolest afternoon looks right now to be Wednesday with temperatures in the upper 40s in the triad. Then we'll start that climb into the 50s for Thursday and 60s for Friday. You heard Kenny saying Hurricane Iota has made landfall. This one as a category four. Now earlier today it was category 560 mile per hour winds. Doesn't make a whole lot of difference because this is going to be catastrophic for the folks there in Central America. Again, this is the fourth major hurricane that's developed after October 1st. That's the first time that has happened in a season. It's also the strongest Greek alphabet named storm we've ever had in the Atlantic, and it is the latest category five to develop on record. So yeah, a lot of records this year in the tropical department. Let's get a closer look at the eye of this storm, which by the way is making landfall about 15 miles south of where Ada made landfall. So this is an area that already had a, an estimated 150 deaths from that first storm. And now they're looking at this other storm coming through, moving across Central America. They're looking at high storm surge with this one, maybe 30 plus inches of rain, 15 to 20 foot storm surge. And of course, those hurricane force winds. Ada made landfall as a category four on November the 3rd. With that estimated death toll, we're also watching an area east of Ada. The Hurricane Center is that may become a tropical depression by the end of the week. If it becomes a tropical system, the next letter in the Greek alphabet is Kappa. There is our seven day forecast. We'll go from cool to a little warmer this weekend. We'll be right back.